Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and that can cost you quite a bit of money. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 4 Series Generation F32, F33, F36. This is the 4 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the upstream O2 sensor fuse is located. Where you can expect to find that fuse, guys. It's extremely hidden uh, in a fuse box that most people do not know that even exists. We'll explain where you can find it, where you can buy cheap fuses parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end before we continue let me tell you guys this is actually bmw 3 series but bmw 3 and 4 series are built on the same platform many of the things were, will be really close or about the same but specifically we will explain about bmw 4 series upstream o2 sensor fuse in this video today before we start guys let me tell you a little bit about us if you guys need to find fuses relays for that bmw 4 series generation from 2013 to 2019 we'll make video for every single fuse relay why because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located you have multiple hidden fuses you can find and replace it get back on the road guys fix that problem because otherwise okay you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere every single car we get here at the garage guys we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions engines bodywork guys all that will be on our channels check it out let me show you where you can find more about it right here we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you need to buy parts tools fuses for your bmw or any car at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from so let's start on it now so what we have here we'll demonstrate on a 2015 bmw guys 4 series fun fact you guys have up to six different fuse boxes most people know only about maybe two or three then you have three that are extremely hidden and today we'll be working in one of them it's actually located under the hood okay the main fuse box is here but that's not the one that we need we need a different one but before we continue guys let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so what we have here now if we come right here guys check it out if we come to the driver's side right there this is the shock tower right and next to the shock tower we have one electric junction box right there that electric junction box guys okay if you look right there you have that rectangular piece okay one horizontal that horizontal piece you have a uh, relay integrated there under that cover and that vertical uh, rectangular piece you guys have built-in fuses uh, depending on the model you may have up to five fuses and starting on top you count fuse number one two three four five the second fuse it's a 20 amp fuse guys under that cover it's actually the one for the upstream o2 sensor how do you get to it it's actually a sealed box uh, now uh, unfortunately guys okay almost impossible to replace it some people open it replace it and reseal it later some people replace the whole assembly we'll be making a video how to take it apart soon guys coming on our channel for any of you needing help with that hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching see you guys next time